Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic and this is my dog Dixie. Uh, today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth episode 27 and 28. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to filter 50% of each episode. So, but if you guys want to read along with me, it is available on webtoons.com. And for people who want early access to my videos and there are a lot of other perks, please check it out on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. My apartment, officer. Your apartment. You own an actual one? Did you really think I lived in a cave? That's what it looked like. Well, no, I don't. Besides, it's hard to heat caves in the winter. True. It gets super cold. Purple Hyacinth, episode 37. At least it's better decorated in here. That's so kind of you. Thank you. I'm so glad you like my cozy little nest. Wait here. Why bring me here? You're living in the 11th district. That's way too far from Grey Chapel and you, your wounds need to be tended. Follow me. Get over here. You're bleeding all over my carpet. Oh, sorry. What did you see at the Grim Goblin? Anything that could help us? Yes, quite a lot, in fact. Turns out Fleming's had a rendezvous with Davenport. The assassin I, could, uh, I just told you about. She is involved in the apostle operation as a sort of a, a supervisor. They'll have a meeting at the Carmen Carmela in a few days with the Apostle's messenger. Turns out the Apostle took over the leader's operation for his own interests, whatever they are. However, the leader is aware of his little rebellion thanks to Davenport's intel. I guess that's another filtration, infiltration mission then. I've already had my fair share to, of them, to be honest. The wound doesn't look too deep, at least, I'll imagine. Tch, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Uh, he, oh, he grabbed her. Oh. What a moron. You'll need stitches. Oh, yeah, that's a big cut. I'm sorry, I couldn't... Predict that I was going to fall from the third floor and almost break my neck. I can hear lies, not sh see the future. How the hell did you even end up, uh, end up there? Flemings came back to his room while I was uh, still inside. I was hiding under the bed. He left quickly though. He didn't see me. I had to get out, but I heard voices outside the door, so the windows were my only option. It was also probably the dumbest and the most sure way to die. Stop wincing. It's only alcohol. Have you ever had an open cut and someone clean it with alcohol? It stings. Like holy heck. At least you didn't take your findings with you and to your tomb. So, what did you discover in Fleming's room? I took pictures, actually. There were papers and receipt from sort of project he was responsible for overseas. Some of them had this logo. Transaction concluded. Which we also found on McTrevor's stuff. And on one of his files mentioned about another associate who will return from overseas. Note, associate will return to Artelis in two weeks. But there's no further information about them other than that. Another associate. Now that's quite interesting. Smart of you to bring a camera. All right, this might hurt a lot. If you move an inch, I will stab you. Ah, oh. I really have the most caring. <laughs> well, thanks for the notice. It does hurt. Fleming's clothes were covered in some sort of fresh reddish stains and, tr and traces of black smoke. Something tells me he got those stains after arriving to Artelis. Ooh. And the weirdest of all, I found circus tickets in his pockets of his in his coats. 
Looks like we'll have plenty of stuff to look into. Good job, officer. Your little excursion wasn't as much of a fiasco as I first thought. <laughs> and my partner not dead yet. That's great. You already done? It feels like you've been doing this your entire life. Oh, these are actually my first stitches. I'm just naturally talented. <laughs> you learn very quickly to be fast and precise when you have to suture yourself up. How am I going to get home now? Oh, I don't think you'll be able to get anywhere tonight. <laughs> Your ankle's not broken at least, but you'll probably need a crutch tomorrow. You're staying here tonight. Uh, what? You heard me. You can't walk. I will not carry you across the entire city. And there are no cabs at this hour of night, especially not in this district. Call your uncle and tell him you're staying at your friend's house or whatever if you must. <laughs> uh. That is kind of awkward. You. You can sleep in the bedroom. I'll take the couch. Did you hurt your ears in the fall? In that fall? Go. You have work tomorrow. I'll go fetch the bag of your clothes you left at the cave. Your police uniform's in it, right? <sighs> all right, all right, Mom. I'll go to bed. And, uh, do you have a shirt I could borrow by any chance? Why? This costume is itchy as hell. What just happened tonight? What am I even doing here? Why did I end up bringing her here? No one else has ever been here before. They're starting to trust each other more. Snowing outside, and she's oh yeah, she's asleep and has. Hmm? Huh? Uh, she is so confused. Oh my god, I'm still at Kieran's place. Uh, Purple Hyacinth, episode thirty-eight. What time is that? 6.05? It's pretty early for her to be up. Her ankle's pretty bad. The Man Who Laughs by Ed Burr Baker. The Killing Joke, Alan Moore. She's like snooping around his bookshelf. A bit of a bookworm, isn't he? Why am I so surprised that he's engaged in normal human activities? Huh? The Secret Garden. F.H. Burnett. I used to read that when I was younger. I wonder what his childhood was like. Was it happy? When did it turn so bad? I shouldn't be looking through his stuff. Huh? Karen? Looks like he's not here anymore. You can sleep in the bedroom. I'll take the couch. Did he even sleep at all? He has a nice place. There aren't any pictures. Are those... That's probably what I expected the, the least from coming from him. He's an artist. Uh, the door. That door. Uh-oh. What is that? 
Why is it the only locked door in this apartment? Gah! Honey! I'm home! Good morning, subordinate. Where have you been? Huh? Oh, there you are. I see that you've slept well. Obviously more than you did. Lauren, your face. Huh? What? Is there something on my face? Bam! Oh! You still had pillow marks on your face. Oh, she knows he's clearly lying. That's so funny. Oh, thanks. He really did bring the bag from the cave. Great. At least it won't look like a mad woman in front of the whole office. <laughs> Imagine! How are you holding up? The stitches still sting a little bit, but at least it didn't start bleeding again. And my ankle still isn't killing me anymore, so I'll be fine. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> There's a cab waiting for you outside. I already paid the driver. Uh, thanks. If I ever find out you looked through my things while I was out, know that I might have to kill you. And go put some decent clothes on before you go to work. People might get the wrong idea about your job. Wh what? Oh. That got a hurt. Well. Thank you for everything. I'll be leaving now. Hmm? It's not your usual uniform. It's Harvey's funeral today. That's a bit awkward now. You know, like, she knows the truth. You know, she's the only one who knows the truth that is part of the department. You know, she's part of the de police department. And she knows that Harvey was actually a spy. And he got wiped out because he was no longer useful to the bad people. So, man. Like, will she choke up or will she have like a stern face on the, the whole time? Be like, oh, that traitor, you know? Like, how is she going to play this off? Will she tell her friends, you know that's on her team about the truth like hey but then again she can't you know because then they're like well how did you know this but the person that i'm kind of worried about the most is kim because you know she reacted very like you know in shock trying to run away from her emotions when she saw harvey and i guess you know she's she's close to him so a lot of stuff that is just jumping in my brain about this so Anyways, if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time.